Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III and welcome to the program and today, today I'm doing a paid review. Dear fucker, can you please explain why Frederick Constant watches a dog shit? I mean, at least they are trying to make their own movement, as far as I know. I think Frederick Constant is less dog shit than Longines, for example, or Valjou Brightlings. Am I wrong? This is coming from Andrea! Andrea! Why is Vacheron... Sorry, why is Frederick Constant dog shit? I'll tell you why it's dog shit. Number one. These cunts, they're trying to pretend to be Vasher and Constantine. They're thinking, you've got these dumb, sophisticated, upper-middle-class women who want to buy a graduation present for their family, you know, for, for a son or a nephew or a niece, and they make these horrid watches, horrid watches, Vasher and Constantine is too expensive, so Frederick Constant, it sounds the same, looks the same, nice slick marketing. Hey, maybe it's the same. No, it's dog shit. Dog shit! It's dog shit. And I gotta tell you, at least with a brand like Oris, at least those fuckers at Oris, they don't pretend to be prestige Vasher and Constantine, do they? No, 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 no. They know their place. They make shitty ETA-based watches. Cool, they're reasonably affordable, not a problem. Vacheron Constantine is not Frederic. They've, they've tried, number one, I'm angry they bummed off the name. Number two, I love the advertising for Frederic Constant. They have the, the wooden boats, you know, the Riviera, the Riva wooden boats or the Chris Craft you know, the uh, the the barrel back type boats, the teak mahogany type boats. They got the, the Austin Healy, the big Austin Healy. They're pretending to be sophisticated watches when they are fucking dog shit. Fucking dog shit so shoved in the microwave badly. And <clears throat> I've heard rumours that Frederick Constant I've heard rumours from internal watch sources. Someone told me they were selling watches below cost to pay staff. That's how bad the bullshit is gone. And I got to tell you truthfully, truthfully, a brand like Frederick Constant, it's for people who wish they were sophisticated and charming, but don't have the readies, the money to back it up. It's for people who wish they were minted, minted fuckers who don't have the readies. They don't have the readies. So what do they do? They buy a Frederick Constant and pretend. Frederick Constant's the sort of, if you've got a snooty, 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 snooty little bitch of a wife, she would buy a Frederick Constant for you. The biggest problem I have with Frederick Constant is the fact it's affordable. I mean, let's be honest here. A Vacher and Constantine, twenty to 30,000 minimum. Then we want something nice in Vacher and Constantine, 30, 40, 50. Frederick Constant, you may have the same sort of packaging with the wooden boat, the wooden boat or the car might look good in your old man's study, but it's aspirational. It's for people who wish they were blue bloods when they're peasant fuckers, peasant fuckers, peasant fuckers. And you know, I'm, I'm a peasant fucker. I'm working class. So I'm allowed to call it like it is. Those sort of watches are for pretenders who think they have class and they buy a Frederick Constant. I mean, the watch can't be affordable, you know, and they have ugly things like, they have ugly things like gold plating. Gold plating. Uh, uh, gold plating. Gold plating. They have ugly things like ETA machines. ETA machines!
they have a they're a watch which is affordable when something's affordable it can't be look the reason why a bentley or a rolls royce is so suave and sophisticated is because no cunt can afford the fucker when it's affordable it's not the same you know it's not like a chevy you know, do we lust after a Malibu, a five-year-old Malibu? Do we lust after this sort of garbage? Garbage. Do we lust after a Chevy Malibu? No. Gold-plated, ETA-based. It's all pretense. It's for pretend blue bloods. It's the Mrs. Bucket from Hyacinth. Mrs. Bucket keeping up appearances. The British pro comedy program. <coughs> it's the Hyacinth Bucket of wristwatches. It pretends to be something it's not. If only life would have gone on like that. Frederick Constantine. So there's a number of sins. Number one, let's go through them. They're a new company with no heritage, pretending to be Vasher and Constantine. No, no, it's Frederick Constant. So they get the wankers who are after an arty, a refined brand. Number two, they use ETA machines. Number three, they use gold plating. Number four, they're affordable. They're affordable. What sort of horology is about the pain? You know, it's about the pain. I mean, why is a 911 so cool? Because you can't fucking afford one. They're expensive. They're dear. They're dear as poison. You take that cunt into the dealer to service it, they'll give you a second and third asshole in one sitting. That's the problem. You can't have affordable watches. They can't be affordable. Normal people could buy them. It's not the way to do things. Affordability. Come on, fuckers. Don't waste my time. Anything that's affordable. They're dog shit, okay? Believe you me, they're dog shit. Microwaved on high for an hour. It stinks. I'm Archibald Chesterfield III. Tell me what you nasty fuckers think of that. Nice one, Arch. Great vid. Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III and welcome to the program. And uh, I've got some great news. I'd like to introduce someone to the channel. Jason Thomas, a real estate broker in California who is a referral specialist nationwide. He can help buyers and sellers in any of the 50 United States find a quality agent to assist them in the purchase or sale of a home when they decide to escape the Western world. The latest wench has threatened to divorce them or any other any other time a real estate professional is needed. He'll pair you up with three licensed agents to interview and choose from. His fees come not from you, but the successful agent's firm once a transaction is complete. Please contact him by, him by email or phone, or simply fill out the web form. I'll put the address in the description to this video to state your needs and requests. Jason Thomas. Jason Thomas, a real estate broker in California, helping everyone in the United States. And uh, I gotta say, fuckers, give this young man a try. Jason Thomas, real estate broker, give him a try. And, uh, you know, let's see what we can do. www.jasonthomasbroker.com Archie Luxury, supporting young individuals who want to do well for themselves. Thank you so much, Jason. I'm proud to have you as a sponsor of the Archie Luxury Programme.